Hi everybody, it's Eileen. I hope you can hear me okay. We are out at the beach and uh, I'm <laughs> like balancing things and hoping that they're not gonna fall down, but this is not my usual setup. <laughs> hey Charlotta, how's it going? Uh, we came out last night, just a couple days that we have, because my husband's going to be going back to work full-time after the wedding. So, hey, Ulrika. Such a beautiful journal you did. Good to see you, too, Charlotta. Hey, hi, Anne. How's it going? Ah, it's so good to be here. I'm going a little crazy with this wedding stuff. I did get my dress, but it needs a hem of about four inches, and it's not one that I can do, so I've gotta find somebody to put a hem in my dress. I went on Monday, but it was Labor Day, and it, things were closed, so when I go back on Thursday morning, hey Helen, I am gonna to have to find somebody to do it, otherwise I will be like ironing on <laughs> tape on this very expensive dress. Anyway, <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm glad you're here, Anne. Hey, Jenny. Yes, I have a package to open, but I'm not gonna do it today because I didn't bring it with me, but it's from Jenny. I'm gonna bring it, open it on Thursday. So thank you. I think it's from Jenny, I don't know, but it's not from the US. Hey, Jolene, and Hi, Debbie. I missed a couple people. Sorry. There's Linda. How's it going? Yeah, so today what we're going to do, I am in the list checking off mode of this wedding, and I'm really not doing a lot for it, but just kind of a lot of paper things that um, my daughter has requested. So I showed you, well, in my Instagram sh stories, I shared the little treat bags that I did just a label for. And uh, hi, Helen. Um, I did... What else? The seating chart, I did that yesterday. I did those little gift card boxes, which if anyone's interested, tomorrow at 11 Eastern time, there's gonna be a video up on the Sizzix site. So I would love if you could um, go over and watch. That would be 11, would be like four in the UK. Hi, Karen and Sharon. Oh, okay, okay, I know it's late. <laughs> Good, I'm glad to hear everybody's doing well. Yeah, so anyway, if anybody, I'll put a, a post up tonight and if you remember or if you wanna go, that would be great to have people watching. It's always nice. I'm gonna be on live. It's been recorded, but um, what we're gonna see is basically 14 different ways to use the uh, the book tiny book case as a, a way to hold little gift cards because my daughter's giving them out for the people in her wedding and some other people too, so. Uh, I made one and I used the Sizzix paper, which is really pretty. They're opulent paper. It's a paper pack of 50 sheets and it's got like 10 of each kind and they're really nice and thick. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Debbie. Well, I'm happy that you're all here and I'm sorry that six o'clock is late. We kind of got started on this date and it's hard to, or this time, it's hard to get out of it, but um, we do the four o'clock on Thursday for you guys. So hopefully, um, and I don't know, I, we're going to be making some changes. I have meetings with both of my team this week, and we're going to be going over some of the things that we're doing and some of the things we can do better together. And, uh, if anyone has any suggestions, please feel free to welcome or to not welcome. I'm thinking welcome to everyone, um, to message me and let me know if there are things that you can think of that would help to make our group better, our my shows better, which I know is a lot, but <laughs> don't not too much of that right now before the wedding. But uh, I would be happy to hear, really, because I want it to be a place where people want to go. So if it's that I talk too much, I know I <laughs> I try. I probably can. Uh, I don't know what I can do about that. But anyway. Um, we will continue to do great projects and classes and anything that you guys like to do. We'll do our giveaways and we have some challenges lined up. So what I'm going to do is put them out there to the team. Thank you, Charlotta. <laughs> you are such a good friend. And, uh, you know, we're going to kind of talk about some things that ideas that we had for events in our group. 
Um, if you haven't joined the Eileen Hall Fan Club, that's the group that I'm talking about. So if you want to go ahead and join, just please make sure to answer. There's a couple questions. Please answer them because if you don't, then we just kind of release you from your request to join because we all thank you guys. That's not why I said that, but you know, thank you very much. <laughs> okay. I never, oh, I do talk too much. Wait, you know that, Ulrika. You know, you had to spend the night with me in, in London. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Anyway, all right. Well, if there are other things, anything, just let us know because we want this to be the most, just the best group that there is. So, uh, you know, just let us know if there's things, things we can do, okay? So what we're gonna do tonight, this is a very simple project. I, I'm gonna make it better, but I don't have all my supplies here. So that was fun. <laughs> I'll tell, Ulrika can tell you how I fell asleep on the London sightseeing bus. <laughs> and she's like, we're getting a cab. You need to go home. <laughs> And, you know, a year ago, I was in Scotland. It was so much fun. I want to travel again. It was great. I want to come back. Now I know more more of you. So I want to come back and see you. But I don't know when. I don't know when. And I want to go to Australia and finish that and finish and start that trip. But I don't know. For now, we'll do what we can do. And, you know, we'll see how things work out. But hopefully... I can travel again because I want to. I love it. So uh, anyway, tonight what we're gonna do, I wanna come back, Marion, um, as I, I just met so many of you that are so nice and just had such a fun time. I can't even tell you. But um, focusing on the wedding, uh, this is what I'm gonna do today. This is the trinket box die. And yes, Sweden would be fun. And there's also my friend Anna Karen, who is on our team that's in Sweden. We could have a fun time getting together. We'll do a European tour. <laughs> uh, and I did see that Creative World is still happening. That's one in January, so who knows? I mean, maybe we could make something happen. I don't know if I'll be going to that. I don't know if Sizzix is gonna invite me, but I hope so. Anyway, we'll see. Lots of stuff, lots of plans. So, oh, okay. All right, so let's just talk about this die, which is what I'm gonna use. But all we're gonna do today is make a plain white box because what I think I'm gonna do is write on it. And I thought this was such a cute idea. For the inside, my daughter want me, wanted me to line it with the like a photo of the napkin that her fiance, asked her to marry him or asked her to go on the date that he then asked her. So I thought that's really cute. So she sent me a JPEG, but I don't have a printer here. So I'm going to have to do that at home. Hey, Jody. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, so what I'm going to do is basically make a white box, but I just want to show you how it works because it's been a while since I used this die and it's, it actually makes, it can be a book, it's called the Trinket Box, that's what I call it. It's a short name, but I included all the things that it does in the title because I want people to know all you can do with it. So you can make a box, a frame, or a book out of it. So I just wanna, we'll cut a couple and I'll show you uh, today how we can make the one box. And then I did have an idea too for like a little book out of it where I thought I would put like the story of Marianne and Tommy or something like that. So yeah, there's really a ton of stuff you can do with it. I'm not even gonna cover it with anything. I'm just gonna do a white box so you can see how easy it is to assemble and then take it you know, out in your brain and do what you wanna do with it. One other thing I wanted to say for the people in the US, I went to a good Dollar Tree the other day. Look what they had. Remember those ones that Chantal gave me from Canada? with the nice silicone on here so they don't make marks. They have them. They have them, okay? So go to dollar, go to the good Dollar Tree and get them. Okay, uh, so what we are gonna use, now the one that I did was made out of the mixed media board and honestly, I didn't like it as much. Um, I wanted, I wanna use the mat board. It's a little bit thicker. 
Yeah, and all right, we'll go over how you can make a book. In fact, I'll show you, it was kind of a failed experiment. This was my first idea to do. Um, and I wanted to make a book, so I cut it out of watercolor paper and I folded the spine in. And you don't have this die. Yeah, all right, we'll take a look, Sharon, because, so what I did was, I took some watercolor paper, I folded it in half, then I scored half an inch on one side of the fold, half an inch on the other side of the fold, and I folded that into like this, you know, so you can see, it's like a little accordion fold. And then because it's watercolor paper, and I could do that, I ran it through. Uh, the problem was it was thick, and it cut through a little bit, which you can kind of see here, you know, I, I think if I made a thinner spine, oh, okay, good. I'm glad some of you guys have this and haven't tried it yet. We'll go through. I can't show you everything today, but we can talk about it, okay? And then we could do this again if you want. The other thing was I brought my QC die. That's what this is. This is not the final die. So I had originally used only four sections. The one that you have has five sections and it works better. So I had to kind of do a workaround for this. I also had my passport book and I thought, oh, I could use the spine out of that one. Anyway, I almost titled this, <laughs> how to like, and I couldn't think of a good word for it, but like how to kind of um, put cannibalize your toys. <laughs> it sounded bad. So I didn't call it that, but <laughs> it was kind of, picking parts off one die to work with another die, which you can do, but this was, uh, it didn't even, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> moving on from cannibalizing. All right, so let's uh, turn the camera down. I'm gonna have to, you have it too and you haven't tried. Yes, yeah, so many options. All right, let me do this. All right, this is a different configuration here. So let me, All right, I dropped my little thing. All right, I think this is gonna be good. Let's just get it in place. All right, and let me just get my thing, my computer up here so I can see what you're saying. Okay, so we are gonna use the map board today. I just liked it better. It would work, but I'm, I didn't like how thin it, it just felt a little thinner and I thought I'm gonna use map board. So there we go. All right, so let me, uh, where am I? If you don't see me on my page, am I on there? Hmm. Refresh. Oh, I'm in the fan club, hang on, sorry. <laughs> I'm so used to going there. Okay, so I have three sheets out. We may not use three sheets. Here's the die. So let's just go over what these parts are and have a look here, okay? There we go. All right, so first of all, this piece here, this confuses a lot of people because this is a mover and shaper. So this comes with the die. Most of the time, if you have a mover and shaper, you have to buy that separately. But with this one, because it's such a specific size, we said, well, let's include it in the die. That's why it's a little bit more money. Um, yeah, Frankenstein, that would have sounded better, Laura. All right, so the other thing that happened with this die, and you know, they just things just kind of go and you don't think about it, but because this was in here, it didn't, it, what we weren't able to put in that little, it's usually a little black magnetic piece that we put in there so that it, when you go to cut that thing, it lets this piece pop out because there's no little holes in there to pick it out. It might get stuck in there. So what you do instead, this is just a piece of double thick foam or triple, very thick foam. And what I did was I just stacked it up on top of each other so that when I put my map board on top, it'll help it pop off, okay? So on this die, because it came with that, you don't have one, so you're gonna have to make your own. So when you run it through without this piece in there, you wanna have that in there and that's why, so that this can pop out. Cause see, if you, you have it wedged in there, you know, there's no way to get at it. You have to get your pick and pick it out. So that's why we have that piece. All right, 
So the other pieces that we have are this here, which is the spine. Like I said, this is you're going to have one with five little, you know, dividers here. This here is the little frame of the box. So this one I trimmed down because I was going to use the passport book thing, which you can see has the little, you know, things in it. But I turned out, I found a way to use the one that's here, even though it's four. So disregard that because you're going to have one that works. Okay, this one here, this is the surround for the box. And this goes in the bottom or you can use it as a journaling card because it's uh, three by four. So this is a, sm a tiny bit smaller than the inside of the box, but I wanted to make it so that you could use it as a journaling card. So you just have a little bit of uh, extra room around the edge of the box. That's not a big deal. Um, there was something else I was gonna tell you, which is when you put this in here, you've got a little bit of leeway and if you cut a lot of them, sometimes this shifts. So what I do is I take little extra bits of my mat board and I just wedge two pieces of scrap mat board. Which you can see if I can just, here's a, you know, so I'll take just like a strip like this and, you know, stick two over here. That's too long. But, you know, that just kind of keeps it tight. So just for a little tip there, that's what I like to do with my extra mat board to keep it in one spot. Now, see, this is skinnier, so it's probably not going to hold it in as well. But if you have mat board, it does, because I've done it and I have it at home, but I didn't bring it with me. So that's how you do that. All right. And you, you'd cut it down to like this height so it's not in the way of the blade. All right. So those are the pieces that we have. So if we want to make a box, which I'm going to do because I'm making a box for the ring bearer, which I found out there's two ring bearers, so I want to see how they manage who's going to get to carry the actual box because Danny is eight and Hunter is six. So I don't know if they're going to walk down next to each other or what, but <laughs> there could be a little, little squabble about that beforehand. But what we're going to need if we're making the box is we're going to need two of these. Well, so we can do either an open, you know, we can do an open top with a bottom on it. And we could put a photo in here or we could make a shaker. You know, we could build this up with some foam tape and add some acetate and make a foam shaker if we wanted, little thing in there, or um, a frame. And this is actually how I was thinking of using it as a frame by putting their names in here. That's not a good one. I was doing that just for kind of the um, placement, but this is kind of what I'm thinking and then like a little heart over here and here. So this is not the final one either, but again, I, I just like to kind of see what it looks like before. And I might wind up printing something. I don't, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here, but this is the box that they're gonna hold the rings in. So the way the box goes together is you've got one on the bottom and actually you could use, and these are all just options. You could make the bottom of the box with this, you know, this kind of bottom, the square bottom set that on there and then just have the fancy one for the top you know or you could put this one underneath it's like so many choices okay and then do your little hinged top like that you could do just a plain open you know shadow box type thing for the top and not have anything under it so that could just be open and you see what's in there and actually I was kind of thinking that would be nice for the rings you know if we set them in something so they're not flying around that would not be good so if you have another movers and shapers die you can use that one that's right that's right thanks Mary yes okay everybody's saying hi that's good okay so now for the book, the way that works is, and again, you would have one more like this that would have the five sections. So the way you would do that is you cut your, this piece here, spine, and you can put it either on the top like that. I usually put it here because 
it has a rounded edge, but I just think it looks more like a book if you were to go like this. And you could use the covers, you know, this way. You know, two of them as a book. And then, you know, you just tie your elastic over. You could punch your holes however you want to do it. Or you could do these pieces that are meant to be the inside of the box. Those could be a cute little book, you know? Just adorable, really. And you could fold these in a little if you wanted, you know, so they score here and here and just make a skinny book too, okay? So these spines, like, don't get rid of them. If you cut extra ones, just keep them because you might use them for something else and something you don't even, you know, another shape that you have, okay? And then what's the other thing? So this actually is the frame. You know, if you were to make a frame, you know, you can just do that and stand it up, like put one of these behind it and just put that on your desk, you know? That works great, just like that. So book, box, frame, and more, you know, different shapes. So let's go ahead and just cut this and you can see how we're gonna put this together, but it'll go quick because it's not that hard. All right, you just have to have the right amount of stuff. These are bad cutting pads, but it was all I had here. I thought I left them home. It's like, oh, I can't do them without cutting pads, but got them. So again, piece of mat board. Now, if this had paper on it, of course, you could do that and it would be really pretty. I thought about doing some napkin collage on here, but I'm, I just want to keep it simple because what I think I'm going to do for the one for Marianne is when I, I'm going to make a box today that will be my basic skeleton, say, box. And then when I get home, I'm going to cut a piece of the gold surfaces and glue that on top. And I think that would be really rich. And then all I'm going to do, I think, is to wrap a gold ribbon around here with just like a loop so that the guys, whoever it is, Danny or Hunter, has something to grab onto and carry. And it looks pretty, but it's not too much. You know what I mean? I mean, it's holding two rings, or three rings, she said. I'm not sure what the third ring is, but I think we'll see at the wedding. All right, so I'm just going to cover my pieces here, and I am going to leave one open one because I may want to use that for the rings. I think that would be pretty, you know, to put acetate, and then I'm not sure about the words yet, so I'm just going to leave it. I can always cover it if I, if I want to. All right, so I'm going to just cut this so this might be a little hard to see here but all right and I'm cutting two because most of them I need new piece two pieces all right so let's just this here was sticking before, and I don't know why. Yeah. So if that happens, you just get your craft knife, or you can kind of poke it, you know, just. And this here was sticking too. I don't know what's going on. I did use it a good bit. <laughs> that doesn't usually happen with my dies, though. But like I said, this is a QC die, so they're, you know, production ones are more permanent. I usually use one, you know, once I get the actual die with the packaging, I use that one because it's got my name on it, and I like that. But if that ever happens that you get it where it won't, you know cut all the if it doesn't cut all the way through I mean that is one way to do it but it shouldn't I would ask Sizzix for another one if if it was having a problem all right now I'm going to do the same thing again but I'm going to take this out so that I have a solid piece for the top or bottom whatever I decide I'm just going to get two of them one with and one without okay and this should be enough to put it together Okay. And I'm going to do it as a box, but I'll show you. You know what? Let's run over that again. And I'll 
also there because let's see what happens. Again, and you know what? It could be the cutting pads because these are pretty bad, even for me. <laughs> okay, yeah, that could be it. All right, but this one. Oh, see, I didn't put this in. Now I have to dig that out. I do that every stupid time. I didn't do it before, but now because you're here, that's what happens. See, and then you got to pick this thing. It's so annoying. Now I'm tearing my map board. Ugh. Don't let this happen to you. <laughs> Put in, you know what, let's just cut one and you'll see the difference. Let me get a scrap. Which I have a whole bag of them. Okay, so watch. No, that's wrong. Sorry. Okay, let's try it with this one and you'll see the difference. Now I'm putting my pieces in the correct way. see all right oh, hmm. see the other one this is a little low but usually what happens is the the foam kind of expands and then you can get in there all right this is uh <laughs> this is one of those days when I was like ah there's just too much going on maybe I shouldn't do a show today yep maybe maybe not We all have them. Okay. All right. Well, come on. Don't make me a liar. All right. Well, it did. <laughs> Yours will be fine. You have a production time. I've got a QC. All right. So here we have, let's go through all our pieces. And these are cute too. You know, you could make like a little keep tag or something out of that. All right, so we have two of these. We should have two of these. Well, we do. All right, we have two of these, and this is going to be our box. So I don't know where I got three of them, but there's three of them and this. Okay, so I'm going to put my blade in just in case because it seems like that kind of day. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fold these over, you know, over on my table, which I'm doing out of sight here, but, okay, all right, so these we want to bend all the way over, just get them nice and ready to limber up so they can go where we want them. And then let's do that part first. Now these, what I'm going to do is put one of these pieces inside. All right, so here's how it's going to look. So in order to do that, I'm going to put my adhesive here. Now if I wanted to put this on the bottom, you know, I put the adhesive over there. But I think that it holds it together better if we do it this way. All right, and where are my scissors? All right, I'm sweating, guys. I'm sweating. <laughs> Hi, Kayla. All right, so let's do our adhesive here, and I'm going to keep it all in one strip because that's going to help me in the corner here when I go to attach that and turn, turn the corner. This is going to help it stick together. And you, if you wanted, you could go ahead and peel off the layers, but I'm I'm not going to do that on this one. I just want to put this together pretty quickly, which is 
not seem to be happening today. Although, we're going to go out to dinner after this, so I've got something to look forward to. All right, now the other thing is we're, we're going to need to put adhesive on this, so this is going to match up with that. So we're going to use this side for the adhesive to on the end tabs. All right, does anybody have questions? Let me see. Oh, no, that stinks. I'm not sure what that was for. <laughs> Deep breath. <laughs> uh, I know, it's just so much on my mind. We're trying to finish up my dad's estate, and there's all these lawyers and numbers, and just, ugh, I just want to get it done so bad. And then I feel like the wedding will be over, and I can just get back to normal if there is such a thing these days. <sighs> But you guys all have stuff too. You know what it is like. All right, so this is gonna be the top of our box. So we're just gonna peel this off first. I like to get the shape of it. Well, actually we could do them all at one time. It doesn't matter. Just peel away. This stuff likes to, but this is nice and strong. I have used, um, hot glue but I'm not a big fan and the reason is that it bulks up your joints and seams and you know it just makes it thicker so if anything I'd go the other way you know I'd want it to be thinner so all right let's put this baby together so let's just ah do these right here easy. This right here. Just have it hit the same place, you know, here and here. All right. And then you're just going to set that down and make that into like a box shape, a nice rectangle. Okay. Then you're going to drop this in and you can like lean it against here if you want, or you can nudge it forward a little bit. And you will be feeling a little bit of stickiness because you have those tabs, you know, that you put extra adhesive on. But you just want to form like a rectangle, all right? So that is going to go on your box. Let me get one that I messed up and use that. I also cut some out of watercolor paper. And that's kind of pretty. All right, here's a reject one. So I'm just going to set this here on the box. You know, just center that. And it might stick a little because I have that glue down there. But I can go ahead and add glue after. And that would be what this would look like. All right, now we also... What you might want to do, because yours is going to have five of these tabs like the passport book, you can set that in between here if you want, like that, and then close. Now, the other one that I made was a little bit thinner, that box, this one. I trimmed some off here to make it smaller to fit the passport book, so this one's a little bigger. But what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to bend one of these. And you can't really tell the difference. And then I'm going to attach that here on the side. I'm just going to tape that on. And you, you know, you can cover that with paper if you don't want those. Or, uh, yeah, that's what I would do. So I'm just, this is kind of my version of it because I don't have all the right stuff. It's just uh, one of those days. But the box is going to look fine. And I can always cover it with paper or napkin or something. <laughs> My thought was to do a doodle one, but then, uh, no, no. The way things were going today, that didn't look good, but I still can. All right, I really just got like liking this die again because there's so many things you can do with it. And uh, I wish I had time to play with it a little bit more. All right, so I'm just going to take my box and I'm going to add this on here. Don't no no no. Oh. 
sometimes if you go very slowly, <laughs> this is a disaster. You could get the fancy base on the outside bottom too. Yes, that's there's just tons of ways to do it, Mary. Okay, now what I should have done was trimmed some off at the bottom here. And this is never going to be straight, but... Because I'm working with the wrong piece. Yeah. These are not good scissors either. I don't have my tools. I'm like, ugh, this is not a good... Okay, so you see what I mean. I would trim that with my blade. Maybe I should just do that and feel better about the whole situation. That will just make me happy. And it will stick because it's got a ton of glue on it. And then sometimes if I'm without supplies like I am right now, I'm going to use my cutting pad as kind of an acrylic ruler and just even that out and try not to cut myself be really bad although I was telling the lady that uh, was helping me find the dress the other day she's like she was telling me don't get high heels because if you're not good with them you could fall and I said if only you knew the let when my daughter two daughters ago got married I fell the day before I the wedding uh, two at uh, it was actually two hours before the rehearsal dinner and broke my ankle and had to go in a boot and my dress was a short navy blue dress, and I had a matching blue boot, which was so attractive. <laughs> so, all right, so then we're gonna come around and just put this on here. So see what I mean? We just adjusted a little bit. And now what we're gonna do is set this on here. I'm gonna have to do a better tutorial when I have all my stuff. But what we're gonna do is just attach that on here Let's just do it. It would be funny if they did use this box. <laughs> this is a disaster. But I think what I'm trying to figure out how I could attach the rings so they don't like jiggle around and go flying because maybe with felt and like tie them in or velvet or some kind of pretty, you know, fabric. I don't know. Any ideas? So, uh, so resourceful. <laughs> okay, let's go with that. All right. And then we just set this on here, and you've got your little box. I mean, isn't that cute? Little shadow box. It's adorable. So, a lot of people have d done these at uh, the holidays, and they want, I remember one that Lisa Hole did. She had like a little deer in here and a whole little scene. It was so cute. So, lots of options for this. Like I said, I think I have a tutorial somewhere. We, we did a, <laughs> um, what do you call it? A tutorial with a shaker on top. So to do that, I just put another one under it, you know, and bumped it up a little. And then when you opened it, you know, it was just fun. I wonder if I could do that. A little picture of Marianne and Tommy jumping around inside. <laughs> Who knows? All right, so that's that. I mean, that's pretty good, actually. That looks fine to me. And then it's got the date on it. So this is not tied down or strapped down on the bottom here, so I could switch that out. But like I said, I do think this would be pretty with just a little gold around here. You know, the gold surfaces, real rich looking. Maybe some kind of ribbon, like an organdy ribbon. And then just something tied around here, you know, and I don't think you need a lot. I do like the idea of their names, and I like the idea that Marianne said, which I could put in here and line this with that little note that he had written her on a napkin. I think that's so cute, even if I just put it down there. But see, then it's gonna cover the rings. But now we could tie the rings up here, you know, tie them in, like punch a hole here and tie them in with a bow. They just take that off. So I don't know, I'm, I'm still brainstorming this one. But uh, that is that, that's how that goes together. And then, like I said before, um, 
these are all the book options. Let's just get the pieces out here. You know, so you can take this and either, you know, you could fold it. Well, you're going to have five, but you can make a nice little rolled, uh, I was going to say rolled hem, a rolled binding here. So like this. You know, that's a nice little book, and then you put something inside. Actually, you could take two of these and make a little slider drawer. Wouldn't that be cool? You could take this and make a drawer. Ah! Why didn't I ever think of that? I think somebody did do that. But you know what I mean? Like, it could go like this and this. And then, if we didn't have the drawer on there or the top on there and could slide that in and out. I think Tanya did something like that. But, you know, maybe I'll go through and see what I can find. Um, or if anybody has ideas that they have done with this die before, with the trinket box, uh, if you wouldn't mind posting them in here under the video, because I think that'll give people ideas. I saw a lot of people saying, I had that die, I never tried it. You know, I think, and I hope that maybe you can... Uh, you know, see that there is a lot to be done. And uh, here's the one that I kind of did. And then I was thinking either, you know, drawing in some hearts. And I don't know. I, I think I've lost it today. <laughs> I've lost the will. I need to go out to eat and maybe have a drink. That would be good. <laughs> uh, it's been a long day. You're still laughing about the... The crush skirt. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. Well, now this is not a velvet dress. <laughs> this is a sequin dress. So, in fact, Mitsuyana was kind of saying that. she. I talked to her this morning. She's like, because I, I gave her, I, I kept that dress that I, <laughs> and I sent people, <laughs> sent Mitsuyana a book that had a piece of the the butt crush dress. <laughs> if if you not know what if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's it's a long story. But I I had a virtual surprise party online, and I shared the story of when I was 40, and somebody gave me a surprise party, and I'd been to a dance, and I had a faux velvet dress, which at the end of the thing where I was sitting on a plastic seat after four hours of sitting li listening to speakers I got up to dance and had a, a huge butt print on the back of my dress and was just dancing away with not a care in the world and got home and hung it went to hang it up and saw that image which has been burned into my memory <laughs> so that was a bad bad thing but uh, you know it's it's so much so far away I don't care anymore but so that was fun. Walk down memory lane. <laughs> so guys, that's what's happening in my life. I'm a mess. <laughs> but, um, okay, so after, after my drink, I will, <laughs> I will post all this stuff. And remember tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern time, and I'll put up a, a post about this, there's going to be a Sizzix video, which is actually pretty good. And it's only 13 minutes long, but it shows how to make all these little, let me find them, these little gift card things. Uh, I don't know what I did with them, but they're really cute. Here they are. All right, so I'm going to show how how I made these. But watch the video because it's it's just nice and quick. But it shows how to use the tiny book case to make all these. Alright. So I am just full of wedding stuff and I'm happy to be at the beach and just tonight I'm gonna relax. Everything will be fine, right guys? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for coming. Sorry, that was not the best, but I know you love me, and I thank you. Same here. All right, I'll see you guys on Thursday, and I don't know. 
life goes on, right? <laughs> Thanks, everybody. See you soon. Bye.